What I'd like you to do today is give me five whole numbers. Caroline, can you start? Um, three, six, five, seven, two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose three of the numbers and then I'm going to add them together. So in this case, 6, 5 and 7 add up to 18. James, your turn. Um, 7, 17, 15, 8 and 10. And this time I'm going to choose these three numbers. And what I want you to be thinking about is, what is special about the numbers on the right hand side? Caroline, your turn. Um, 20, 15, 6, 11, 12. 20, 15, 6, 11, 12. And this time I'm going to choose these three numbers, which add up to 33. James, your turn. Uh, 23, uh, 16, 9, 21, and 36. How much? 36. 23, 39, 48. Any ideas about what's special about the numbers on the right? So Caroline, can you give me five numbers where I'm not able to choose three that are up to a multiple of three? Um, 99, 57, 58, 5, uh, 72, and 23. Right, so this time I'm going to choose 99, 57, 72, 20, 228. Have you got a way of checking whether that's a multiple of three or not? Um, well, if the digits add up to a multiple of three. Right, so they add up to 9, which is a multiple of 3, they add up to 12, they add up to 6, they add up to 12, they add up to 12, so it's a multiple of 3. Good? James, can you try and stop me? Uh, 312, 9, 312, 97, 445, 452, and 29. 29? Yep. Right, this time I'm going to choose 312, 97, 452. Make it 861. Uh, and the digit up to 15. I think I've got one, and you won't be able to make a multiple of three. Okay. okay. Try me out. Um, negative one, negative one, zero, one, and one. Uh, I think I'm now going to be able to do this. I'm going to circle these two numbers, and I'm going to think of it this way. I had uh, 6 threes and 13 threes and 11 threes, 16 threes. Here I've got no threes, so I've still got a multiple of three. 